it's Daryl at Cajun Cooking TV. It's Saturday afternoon and I'm getting ready for supper and I need to prepare some boiled shrimp because I want to chill them for later use. So I've already got my water boiling here and it's ready to go so all I need to do is season up the water and I'll show you what I have here. Really really simple. I've got some garlic powder, onion, salt, Totally optional, you could also chop up some onions, bay leaves, lime juice, and this is the kicker. This is Zataran Shrimp and Crab Oil. Some of you might be more familiar with Old Bay Seasoning, so it's just about the same. We just like the liquid crab oil. The powdered one always has uh, MSG in it. So this is my one tablespoon of the garlic powder the onion salt and about a half a tablespoon of just kosher salt. So I'm going to get this going in here. Toss in this little bit of lime juice that's left. Probably the juice of one lime will do you. That was three tablespoons. Good. We had some margarita lime chance. Got some bay leaves here. They're just like maybe five. I'm just gonna dump those in there. Good deal. Recycle. Okay, here's my crab oil. And we said for this batch, I have one pound of jumbo already peeled and deveined shrimp. They're already peeled because I did it, not Mike. And um, so there's about 15 shrimp in here. And because I peeled them, the the juices will soak up easier, but if we had the, left the jackets on, we'd probably use more shrimp boil. So, totally up to you, totally to your taste. So, we're going to try it at, what do we say? Two? That's a lot. <laughs> Whatever you say. Okay. I don't want them too hot. Okay. Alright. Let me get my spoon and stir that up. There we go. This is a great little burner. It, it boils water fast compared to our stove. Alright, shrimp boil. Does not take very long, just two, three minutes. Don't want to cook them to death because then they'll just, just fall apart. Not very good. I got some jumbo shrimp here, so this is going to be some good eating. You ready? Look how big they are. That's jumbo. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on it to bring it to a good boil. And I'll probably turn the fire off. Let them sit for a second to soak up that good crab oil. I'll, I'll check it in one minute. All right. Really only two minutes. It was boiling. So you just have to make sure it gets back to boil probably before you put the shrimp in. But my water was hot and this little plate is really, really hot. So what I'm going to do real quick is I got some ice and I'm going to scoop these out because I want to use this seasoned water in a little bit. And I want these to chill for a couple hours. So if you're serving these, you know, like for a party or whatever, this would be the thing to do. Just pull them out and chill them with ice for a couple hours. We'll let these cool down before we put them in the refrigerator, of course. All right. One other thing Mike likes to put in here, we didn't do it this time, is he likes to put like a sweet onion and cut it into quarters and he'll take a shrimp and an onion quarter and eat, the, eat that at the same time. So that's some good flavored water right there, Mike. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> All right, got some more ice I'm going to put on top to get these to cool down to stop the cooking process. So that's really it. Boiling shrimp is so easy, certainly low fat, and um, we generally just serve it with some um, boiled corn while we already have the water going, 
or we have um, some new potatoes and make a little potato side. So simple, easy, that's the kind of cooking I like. You're live, live on Saturday nights at Stokes Lakefront Studios, <laughs> making shrimp cocktail Baton Rouge with Barrel Stokes. <laughs> You're on! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Barrel Stokes and this is Cajun Cooking TV and you're joining us for What's Cooking at the Stokes House. So tonight it's just a simple uh, summer supper. I wanted something cool and not hot to heat up the kitchen because it's been brutally hot here. And so earlier I boiled some uh, jumbo shrimp and then I've got all kinds of little ingredients for a salad basically. And so the idea is I'm going to make a shrimp cocktail um, and I'm kind of recreating a dish that I have seen at a restaurant called Papa Do's in Houston and I just love it. Um, and it, it's actually served in a margarita glass, like a deep margarita glass or one of those bowls. So I end up taking that and just dumping it out and eating it like a salad. But it's really an appetizer. But that one appetizer is quite big, so um, I make a meal out of it. So basically I have the one pound jumbo shrimp. It's about 15 shrimp. I counted them. I have some little cherry tomatoes out of our garden which is one pot plant of cherry tomatoes in our five-foot garden outside. I've got a half of a purple onion here on my slicer ready to go. <laughs> and then I got one of the English cucumbers. It's the really long one because, um, as you can see, it's very small seeds compared to a, to a regular cucumber. So I like these. All right, got one great big hot avocado. These were expensive today, but it better be good. I got a couple other things, tomato, uh, tomato juice, I love V8 juice, some key lime juice, and some ketchup. So I'm gonna throw all this together and we're gonna have a light summer supper. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna chop up my onion, I mean, like this. And sliced onion. So that's just going right here into this bowl. Okay, got to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing with this cucumber. I want it to be light. You're going to like that. Super thin. Mm -hmm. Some of my great little cherry tomatoes are actually really good. They're sweet. And just, I like them. We had, we had, let me move this over. So this is how I prepare an avocado. Just go around. All right. And then I take it in each hand and twist it and a beautiful avocado is presented. Now you can take I do it. You can take a knife and kind of wiggle it out, or you can take a spoon and kind of spear it out. This was like a grapefruit spoon. So you can just use a regular spoon, that's no problem. And I just kind of work it in there. And I used to have a gadget to actually make this, supposedly make this better. But I didn't like it. It just comes out that easy. 
This one's already cracked for you, Mike, so it'll sprout. See? That's what you need. I'll put it in here for you. And put it to the side. Alright, so now I need... What are you? <laughs> so now... <laughs> I need to peel my avocado. I love an avocado. And if it's right, to the right consistency, it just peels right off. Take a bit to keep it going, but it it'll come right off, and that is like perfect. Cut this into chunks, bite-sized chunks. I also have I'll leave the other half of this. I also have this thing. It's called a quick slice, and it's made for um soft soft things. So I'm going to put it in here and we'll see what happens. Lined up. It's got little serrated um, blades in there. Okay? OMG. I'm going to like this thing. <laughs> I'm going to like it. That is awesome. You know what else you can do with this, Mike Stokes? Is put some Sara Lee cheese, uh, pound cake in there and slice it, and then make you a stacked strawberry shortcake. It's pretty awesome. A squirrel. Squirrel? Mm-hmm. Make um, squirrel tenderloin. You're so gross. All right. Okay. Now I need to make my little dressing. Okay? Got my little V8 juice. Put in here. A little key lime juice. I'll do a tablespoon. A quarter cup of ketchup. I'll just do this. Use this. Ooh, and here's the kicker. Horseradish. I'm not gonna put a quarter cup of this. You don't need much. Woo! That'll take the hair off your chest. All right. Last thing. Got minced garlic. Got my little pot of garlic here. One of the bigger ones. I'm gonna squeeze it. Try to squeeze it. There it goes. Man, that's awesome. this up and that is basically our cocktail sauce. Put my dressing in there. <laughs> Mike's giving me the eye. <laughs> I won't do too much Mike. I'm gonna get this good stirred. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. Mr. Stokes, here's your black pepper right there. Your own garden grown tomatoes. Look at these pretty shrimp. Pretty shrimp. Look at these. I like the tails on them so they'd be pretty. So I'm going to put these in here. So this is an avocado shrimp cocktail. Pretty popular um, in Mexican restaurants, I think, in Houston. Definitely at Papado's, which is a seafood kitchen. Um, on my way to Houston, I always want to stop at the one on the outskirts of Beaumont. That's my favorite one. Favorite, favorite. Oh, man, this is looking pretty good. All right, let me find my lettuce, get my little dishes to put them in, and I'll show you this presentation.
we're back. I plated um, all the shrimp cocktail, avocado shrimp cocktail is what we made tonight. And um, I plated these up in different little shapes or, or directions. So we've got the cucumber, avocado, and tomato in here with the big shrimp draped over the side. This one I got it in three different ways. This one I just have it like propped up on top. So really cute appetizers if you're having somebody over. Of course, you could always just leave the mixing part in a glass bowl and then have the shrimp displayed on the side. Um, you could also just do little small salad plates and put like two shrimp and some of the side items. So lots of versatility to this little appetizer. I also have these little clear cups. So anything you want to do, um, it's perfect. And we're going to take all this and make a big salad because I'm ready for a big salad. It's our cool summertime salad. We made avocado shrimp cocktail here at Cajun Cooking TV. And I thank you for joining me. dessert early so we'll have it ready and not rushing around and I'm melting a half a stick of butter because tonight we're making an upside down praline carrot cake that comes with my um, rock rock here so we're gonna try this recipe never done it before as always it's an experiment in the soap salad and so I have all my ingredients here I have a uh, cake mix uh, crushed pineapple some uh, cinnamon spice, I've got shredded carrots, uh, brown sugar, and pecans. So we got all the stuff together. Let's get going. Looks pretty simple. There's not that many directions. So basically I'm, I'm heating up my um, butter and it says get it to bubbly. Okay. I've got my one third cup brown sugar. Melt it in here. And it says to bring it to a bubble like three minutes. So that's pretty easy so far. Mississippi one, Mississippi two, Mississippi three. Oh, push. Push your mouth. Okay, so now I finally got to the bubble stage, so I set my timer for three minutes. So I'm just gonna keep stirring. It's almost like stirring a roux. Okay, so I got this. Oh gosh, and it smells so good. It smells like I'm making praline, which is a good idea to make sometimes. So, I've got this going. It's pretty rich brown, just like a roux. But this is just butter and brown sugar and um, one, uh, two tablespoons of water. So now the directions say, and I'm going to spread this around, I'll pick it off the heat. The directions say to use pecan halves, but I had some that were kind of coarsely chopped, so that's what we're using. I need to use them up. I also had some walnuts, which is traditionally in a um, carrot cake, but since I like pecans in the south in Baton Rouge, we like, we like pecans. Okay, so it says to layer your pecans evenly because this is going to be part of the praline upside down part. So I'm just going to sprinkle these around and hopefully get an even coating down here on this praline mixture. Okay, so I 
took these in, patted them down, because they're in that praline mixture down there. All right, so I'm going to the next step. The next step was to grate um, our carrots, and I already did that prior to our uh, production. And I just used this little microclane uh, grater, coarse grater was very careful with my hands, so as it got down to a low amount, I put that carrot aside, but I got one cup of shredded carrots, so that part's done. It also called for um, crushed pineapple, draining out the juice, so I had a little, a little mesh screen here, put the pineapple in, pressed it down, and I got the half a cup of juice that's required. And they're also asking for the one-third cup of the actual crust pineapple. So we got all our ingredients ready here. So the next step is to add the one-third cup pineapple back into the juice. And um, so then we're going to mix all this up in the cake mix. All right. All right. So I'm going to mix everything in. put it in here without disturbing our praline mix and um, then I'm going to pop it in the microwave. So let me do this and be right back. Here we are, we got my batter in there. We got it pushed down very gently so I didn't disturb um, my pralines at the bottom. So now I'm gonna put the cover on, put the cover on and microwave on high for seven to nine minutes or until a wooden pick inserted in the center comes out clean, just like a normal cake. So then we're gonna remove it and let it stand for a few minutes and then um, I'll flip it onto a platter. So here we go. Are you a fan of Cajun Cooking TV? Check out our cookbook available called Cajun Cooking Made Easy. Enjoy our full recipes, instructions, links on how-to videos, and much more. Cajun Cooking Made Easy. Order your copy today on our website at CajunCookingTV.com. Get yours for only $9.95 and is personally signed by Cajun Cooking Beryl Stokes. Thanks for joining us at Cajun Cooking TV. All right, I'm going to need your help, Mike, because this is kind of heavy. It's not too bad. I had him in the wardrobe again. <laughs> well, Lulu will appreciate the plug. So I need you to do like this, and then upside down. Very good. Ooh, that's hot down there. Thank you. OMG. It worked. Remember at the beginning of this whole experiment. But this is... Awesome. Look at that, Mike. Looks pretty fine. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'll just cut me a little piece for now. I do like my dessert before dinner, so I'm right on time. Oops. 
Ooh, crumbly. I bet some a scoop of ice cream right there. If somebody hadn't ate all my ice cream. She left you some, didn't she? A smidge. Oh, I hadn't been looking there. I meant to buy it this week and forgot. Not much. Since she was coming. Carrot cake. I love carrot cake. My stepmother makes the best carrot cake. And she's she's supposed to bring it to the next Calouette event this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, folks. We're going to wrap this up. We made an upside down praline carrot cake. It turned out great. And it was cooked in the microwave, so super easy. The, the toughest thing I had was just getting all my ingredients in one place. But um, this is pretty awesome. I would serve it with some whipped cream and some ice cream, a little scoop of ice cream on the side. Um, be perfect dessert, especially when you've got some people coming over. Um, so this is Cajun Cooking TV. I'm Beryl Stokes. I thank you for joining us. Our videos and recipes are all on our website at CajunCookingTV.com. Check it out, and we'll see you next time.